Welcome back to Studio B. Dave, Shep, Cubs, Cardinals. It's doing a show. It's doing a show on a Friday. I almost brought my Cubs mug <laughs> just to make a statement. But. All right, let's get to today's headlines. BYU baseball beats Texas last night in Austin 7-5. Jumped out to a 6-0 lead. Colin Reuter, the catcher, big night, three for six with a home run and two RBI. We're going to visit with him in a few minutes. Teams play again tonight, 8.30 Eastern on BYU Radio. BYU softball dropped game one of their series to UCF in Orlando last night. Final score is three to two. BYU is held to just three hits in the loss. BYU falls to 21 and 14 overall. They are four and nine in Big 12 play. Game two will be played tonight, six Eastern time on Big 12 now on ESPN+. Men's volleyball, BYU's number six. They're at number 13 USC tonight and tomorrow. These are the final two matches of the regular season. It's pole positioning now. The Cougars have a one game lead over Pepperdine for third place in the MPSF. Both games start at 10 Eastern. They'll be streamed on Pac-12 Live. BYU Women's Volleyball's 2024 Big 12 schedule is officially out. Cougars will open Big 12 play on September 26th against Colorado in Provo. The Cougars have their first home-and-home -home conference series against Utah for the first time since 2010 when they were both in the Mountain West. It's been that long. It's been that long. The schedule's finally come out and they're back together. BYU gymnastics season ended last night after taking third uh, in the second round of the NCAA regionals with a score of 196.500. Lindsey Hunter Kempler, BYU's highest score of the night, a 9.9 .9 on the bars. BYU's 11th straight NCAA regional appearance beat Boise State, got in there. That was a tough region with number two LSU. We congratulate the Cougs. Speaking of congratulations, one goes out to the great Kyle Van Oy signing a new two-year deal worth up to $9 million to head back to the Baltimore Ravens. Van Oy signed with the Ravens during the season last year and had a career-high nine sacks. Congratulations to KBN. BYU star forward and AP honorable mention All-American Lauren Gustin playing in tomorrow's Women's College All-Star Game in Cleveland at the Final Four. Game tips off at 3.30 Eastern time. You can watch Lauren on ESPN2. BYU Women's Soccer announced the signing of UCLA transfer midfielder and forward Mackenzie Vance. Vance is a senior, recorded two goals and three assists, and played in 20 games during her UCLA career. Another Bruin to maybe help replace the Bruin that we just lost yeah. with the ACL yep. in yep. Walmart. Walmart, yep. Number four, BYU women. Number 22, the men in track and field going to compete this weekend at three different places. So they're <laughs> spanning the globe. Uh, the throwers will be at the Triton Invitational. That sounds about right. In San Diego, sprinters and jumpers split up, competing at Weber State Spring Classic and the Utah Spring Classic. So wherever you look, there's going to be someone from BYU doing something. Will they be throwing a Triton? No, I'd watch that. That I would watch. I yes. would watch that. And number 36, BYU Women's Tennis lost at number 23, Oklahoma, yesterday, 6-1. They will look to bounce back tomorrow at number 8, Texas. Yeah, that's a tough road swing. Yes, it is. As for uh, BYU Men's Tennis, they fell to number 3, TCU, 5-0 yesterday. They'll look for their first Big 12 win tomorrow at number 24, UCF. All right, those are today's headlines. It's now time to whip it.